no smoking on the dogs. Okay. You gonna do it or me? You normally do it. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, we're glad to be with you, and we are going to take your calls live at 737-1200 or 1-800-383-WOAI. And again, we're going to take your calls live if you have anything of questions about remodeling. Um, we would certainly understand if you did because a lot of people are thinking about remodeling right now and you may be wondering like is your pra your project practical how could it be done how long would it take how much would it cost maybe even like um, what would the payment minimum payment be per month we're going to talk about all of that and any questions you have related to remodeling we do talk about things that we do um, or believe in in the remodeling process and we will just say it again remodeling is a specialty and it is a process so we um, we really are big on the processes one of the things we're big on is safety right Morgan oh yes we have on a lot our of job sites and our houses and even on our offices <laughs> that's right so we've been doing a lot of safe procedures in our offices and on the work sites. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things we've been doing for a long time, such as a no smoking policy. Mm -hmm. And that may be, you know, add to safety for individuals, especially, you know, we need no lung problems during this type of a situation. Exactly. But mainly for most people, they'd probably consider it to be a courtesy not to smoke around them especially if they're not smokers. Mm -hmm. And so we, we view it as a no smoking policy nowhere on the project, not even, mm -hmm. not even outside yeah. if we're doing it. So it has to be, anyone who smokes has to do it in their own vehicle on their lunch break. So that's one of the things we do, and thank you for bringing that out, Morgan. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about, again, any questions you have are 737-1200 or 1-800-383-WOAI. That local number 737-1200 and go ahead or you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram because we are live right now and you can comment a question there and, and you can see them mm -hmm. I'm watching now hi Robin Robin's watching hi Robin <laughs> so Robin is in our estimating and design under our design uh, category there at, at office mm -hmm. and uh, she's done a lot of sales in the past and we're just hoping to continue to expand Robin's, Robin's role. She's got a lot of knowledge in there and we enjoy working with her so much. But um, thank all of you for listening on any format. And we've been uh, in August, which is coming up real soon. It will be what, Morgan? 17 years on the radio. That's right, 17 <laughs> years. So you would have been what, 10? Almost 10? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> almost, thinking about it. almost 10 years old whenever I started in and I was uh, 40 when that started, so I'm 57 now. So that's that's been a nice evolution. And back then, um, let's see, there was a guy on the radio. I can't remember his name. He's no longer Tim. with. No, Tim. I remember Tim. Oh. Tim Merriman. <laughs> but Tim took over after that. Oh. Okay. And then we did. But there was a guy before him. He's actually passed away now. So. Oh. But uh, he went. He had left the station, and uh, he died shortly thereafter. But unfortunately. But then Tim and I did it for a long time. Yeah. Until we said, hey, we can do this. Tim Tim really wasn't going to be able to do it on the weekends anymore. And I said, that's it. We're going to do it by ourselves. If you can't do it, we're not having anybody else. How long was that? Man, that, must have, that was several years. That was several years. I think it must have been three years that we worked together on the weekends. Uh. Probably. So that was probably a total of about five to six. Mm-hmm six years. I, I guess we've been doing it on our own for around 10. Yeah. And, and with you, it's been what, three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she's, Morgan's been on here look, almost three years now. And so let's talk a little bit about why now is such a good time to remodel. The first thing I want to mention is 
it comes up a lot as a surprise that you know the interest rates are so low right now and I'm just going to use my home equity line of credit as an example on the way over here I asked my wife to look it up and see how much are we paying for it what's the minimum payment for our forty thousand dollar balance on our home equity loan mm -hmm. our home equity line of credit so that's called a HELOC H-E-L-O-C stands for home equity line of credit and um, you know for forty thousand the minimum payment is like 120 bucks. It's right around $120. So that, that is not as much as many people think it is. And so if you doubled that 80,000, it probably goes down a little bit. You're gonna look at over, a little over $200, probably 225 to 240. And that's not bad for, you know, that's your minimum payment and you can always make more, but that's pretty cool when you think about it that you could get Eighty thousand dollars remodeling for two hundred to two fifty a month minimum payment. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you're going to want to pay five hundred probably. Oh, but, and get it paid off early. But I just met with someone yesterday, and you know who it is. I'm not going to mention it, but <laughs> he was he's an investment. He's an investment. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. And he was saying how they were going to do more later on. And when we come back, I want to tell you what he said about how he was going to finance his next remodeling. Wow. And uh, before we go to the break, though, I want to talk about Ford of Bernie because I'm wearing a Power Stroke hat, Ford Power Stroke hat, because I am so happy with my Ford Power Stroke. And Ford just has an awesome product out there. And uh, it's going to get lifted next week, too. But, but Ford of Bernie just has, has truly a concierge service. If you want a new truck or a new car, go to Ford of Bernie, and you will not be disappointed. I know the Smith family, and they are great, and their number is 920-3023 or FordBernie.com. And we'll take a break. We'll be right back and talk about why now is the time to remodel on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Um, so we got a question, but it's a good one, and we might want to answer it again on air, but it says, from Amy, she says, hi, question. Is it practical to remodel multiple bathrooms at the same time? Would there be any cost savings to do them concurrently? These would be complete remodels, but without moving plumbing, most likely. Yes, there's definitely cost savings in doing them concurrently. What did she say about moving plumbing? Most likely not moving plumbing. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, if you have one bathroom that you can use in the meantime, that's going to be the best thing to do is to do all the bathrooms that are except one. Oh yeah, because unless you're going to be able to go to like a neighbor. Yeah, or unless you're going to use some other facilities. But the more you can do it once, the more savings there is definitely. Yeah. Look at those cars. <laughs> those are cool. That's like a dream car there for me. And can you explain why it's a savings? Well, yeah. There's logistics in every in every remodeling project. There are logistics, and the logistics. Of having a trash trailer, a porta potty, a project manager, clean up. Uh, there's minimum that have to apply. Sometimes a person is doing tape and floating or painting in a bathroom, and that's not going to take them all day, but they can go to the other bathroom and keep working. So every day is more productive. That benefits you directly in cost savings. If you break it up into smaller projects where there's, you're going to get hit for the full day, even if it's six hours or seven hours. Mm -hmm. And that adds up after a while. So those are really, typically it's going to cost you about $3,000 more to break a project apart. If you put them together, there's about a $3,000 savings. And sometimes more. Sometimes as much as $5,000. Mm -hmm. Now, if you move out and you do all three bathrooms at the same time, you're going to even save more. Mm -hmm. But at least do as many as you can. Living there means you usually can't do all of them. Yeah. Especially if you're doing shower and to, and the layout changes it is possible i know we had a client that was going to their mom's house yeah neighbors and so forth and usually yeah. if we have to there's still savings even if we have to set the toilet back several times to use the toilet um, you may not be able to use the shower but you can use the toilet and we can usually make that work on all the bathrooms huh. and then as soon as one of them is ready you can start using that shower yeah. even if it's Technically, it doesn't have the glass in it. Mm -hmm. You can put a shower curtain. Like so it, it's, it's more doable than people think, and much more savings than people think. 
hope that answers your question. She and said that was that's one of our, exactly what she was hoping, cutting costs on all of those auxiliary things. She said they would have one bathroom that they could use. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. What was her name? Amy McGregor Dabney. Nice to meet you, Amy. Hope we get to talk to you soon. Thanks for joining in on the show. Was it Facebook? Uh-huh. She said thank you. You're welcome, Amy. <laughs> welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And as she said earlier, we're live on Instagram and Facebook. And thank you, Amy, for, for those great questions. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk a little bit about our sponsor, XPEL of San Antonio. And that's X P E L. That's how it's spelled, with an X at first, <laughs> and then P-E-L. And they do automotive paint protection, which is great for anybody who has a vehicle you want to protect. And who doesn't want to protect their vehicle from rock chips, etc. They also do window tinting, and not for the cars, but for the homes. And the home window tinting is an incredible division that they have that most, that you just don't find around, that offers strengthening the glass so that it can't be broken into UV protection and solar heat protection. So yep. you get all of that. And you don't have to buy new windows that way. That saves a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Look them up at expel.com. Mm -hmm. And then go to the San Antonio location. Right. And contact Eric directly if you want it. 430-7712. 430-7712. So are we going to do the client testimonial now? Yes. Okay. I'll so let you we do got that. a really nice on Facebook. It's from Miss B, and we just finished publishing her vlog series. So you did can you? check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't it looks see that. beautiful, and it came out on Thursday. Okay. And it says, "Can Builders just finished a project at my home. Yes, it took longer than expected, but the workmanship was top notch. The employees always treated me and my home with respect. They took my vision for a front porch from vision to reality." I love my new outdoor space. And she really does. She is. She's great, too. It was cool. And isn't it a beautiful? Mm-hmm. Front we, porch. Yeah. Was, I thought that was so cool, doing a front porch. Uh, we don't do a lot of front porches, mm -hmm. but we are doing one at, at, uh, in Chavano Park right now. Oh, yeah. I love that. So there's going to be two of them on our website now. <laughs> yeah. Completely different, though. Oh, yeah. One is a deck that cascades down into the front and made a usable patio area up front. Mm -hmm. right out and then we added the double walkout doors mm -hmm. and that's mrs b's and then the other one in chavano park is a, an extension from the house out to the to the circle drive mm -hmm. and and you, concrete right um yeah some some black stone mm -hmm. and then uh, a big cover that just goes out really far it looks beautiful too and it has a tile roof on it to match the house mm -hmm. And that's a cool one. It's got lots of cedar in it, so it looks really rich, big timbers in it. Well, so beautiful. Yeah, And is. you were going to, um, before we left, last time you were going to talk about what your Friday meeting said. I don't want you to forget. Friday meeting. <laughs> you already forgot? I forgot. Um, about how he was <laughs> going to finance his next project. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> meeting I had on Friday with, yeah. with a client. It was an anniversary client. Mm -hmm. uh, we went there after a two-year anniversary. And he's in financing. And mm -hmm. thank you for reminding me, by the way. This is, uh, that's why I have you here, isn't it? I knew, I could tell you were forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so he was talking about uh, his next project. And he wanted to get the home equity line of credit established because the house is worth more after the big remodeling we did before. Right. And now he wants to reestablish the home equity line of credit. And so he is in financing, and he wants to do exactly what I've been recommending that so many clients do. Now, now he has investments. He could do it out of cash, mm -hmm. but he chooses to do it through the home equity line of credit. And, and people who have investments have found that that is a very flexible source. That money out of your home equity line of credit, they'll lend you 80% of the value of the home. 
minus what you owe on it. So if you owe, if your house was free and clear paid off and you had a $300,000 home, they're gonna lend you 240,000, just put it in a, in a line of credit and you don't have to use all that though. And in fact, you don't have to use any of it until you wanna use it and you don't pay a penny in interest while it's sitting there. And that's what a lot of people don't realize is that, is that you don't have to use it all, at all. And, you, and so I asked them, how much do you think that you would gain, you would pay on interest if you didn't use it for two years, three years, five years? And they kind of come up with numbers. And then I tell them that, no, it's zero. Mm -hmm. It's zero interest. So you use what you want. And then when you do use 5,000 of it, you're only paying interest on the 5,000. So it's pennies on interest. That's and really great. And sometimes you might want to use some money out of an investment, but it's not ready to pull out of that investment right now. And so, or it might be really doing really well, and you say, I'm gonna wait, but I do wanna keep, start the remodeling process. And so you start the remodeling process, and then if the, it's a good time to pull it out of your investments, you pull it out. If it's not, you leave it alone, and you pay that little bit of interest. Now, you know that if, the, if your investments are doing well, you're gonna get more money out of that than you are out of the interest you've, you've been paying. Mm -hmm. So it's paying for that interest if you can leave it alone. And then there's a lot of folks who, who might have 30, 40, 50,000 they were planning on using toward a remodeling project. And they're thinking, should I throw all that out of it, at it and just limit the size of my project? Or now we talk about the home equity line of credit and they're thinking, well, then I could leave that money alone and I could really get the size of project I want. And isn't it nice to know that if you've got a loan, like we were saying, 80,000 is gonna cost you a minimum of 250 a month for interest that that you are going to have 40, 30, 40, 50,000 sitting there in case financial hard times come, you can pay that minimum payment for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And that's what people are seeing. Let me go ahead and get my project now and and worry about the, you know, not have to worry about any uncertainties right now, but I'll get something to help me relax in my home, beautify my home, and not really have a real threat to my finances because it's not a big payment. And it is, you've got this money that you've been saving that is still there. And I was also thinking that that low payment is much cheaper than, so if you're considering moving your parents into the house, it's much cheaper than paying for a nursing home. Yeah, that is a very good point. If you don't have the money to, to move your parents into your home or make that extra suite for mm -hmm. your kids coming back from college or they're gonna delay going to college and you had plans or you need your office at home now because it's just very impractical. And you know, and sometimes all three of those are hitting at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad need to be here. They've got disabilities. They need help. Kids aren't going to college like we thought they were out of, out of town. And I'm working from home. My wife's working from home. And boy, this is just, we need some room. Yeah. So two things. One is what Morgan said, it's a lot cheaper to go ahead and do it at your own home. And two, you haven't seen all the places that this would fit. Call me so I can show you where you can do this on a, on a budget. Mm -hmm. It really is amazing what how people's reactions are when they see that they didn't know the possibilities of their home and they find out what they are. And so we really enjoy helping people. And Morgan went with me recently. On Tuesday. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday. She had some interesting thoughts about what I do because she finally saw it firsthand. After all these years, she's never been out with me during those first observations. Well, I, I would go with you, but I would stay in the car. Oh, really? When was that? A couple of times. Uh, that must have been like years ago before you... No, even when I worked there. And I would get my work done in the car. And I'd go in there. Yeah. Was that when you were in marketing or before? Yeah. Huh. I guess we were smart, open-minded enough back then. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we've, we've definitely changed a lot of the focus of it. Well, when we come back, I want to talk more about what you thought. <laughs> okay. Well, of it. And just what you've observed and the reactions of the clients. Yeah. So, but, but right now, I, want, I just want to mention that you can take your calls live at 737-1200 and 1-800-383-WOAI. Again, 737-1200. And we can talk about your questions about remodeling. But right now is probably, you know, just a really great time for a lot of people to remodel. I have said it in the past that now is the best time that I've ever seen to remodel. 
and that time that I said it in the past is not as good as this time. And so I can't say, I, 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 you know, going back, it wasn't as good as now. And the reason is there's more of a need now as well as the interest is low. The interest rate is as low as it's ever been. But the need and the practicalness of, of remodeling your home is at the highest level it's ever been. And there's one other thing that is extremely high right now. So you've got all three things hitting at the same time, and that is the value of the remodel that you get paid back is at its peak because homes are just really, really, it's a, it's a buyer's market. I mean, a seller's market right now. Mm -hmm. So if you add all of those things together, now truly is the best time to remodel. But, um, you know, the newest thing to creep up on that chart of desirability of remodeling now is the, the wants and the, the needs list. People need it more than ever. Plus, they're tired of some of the things. They want it more than ever, too. So I, I think that that's, you know, people wanting it and needing it really, really more than ever because they're at home so much more. As I've said before, one of the symptoms of what's going around that we see with all this virus stuff going around is the remodeling itch. So you might be experiencing a symptom called the remodeling itch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a, an itch to, to get my truck up and to, and to do have the dream truck that I've always wanted. Now, I have a certain look that I've always wanted of it, but I had to get the truck first because I wasn't going to do it to the other one. But now I've got the truck, and now you guys are going to see what this looks like. I've got the ultimate toolbox, as I've told you about, and now I'm going to have the ultimate lift and wheels, and it's going to be cool. And that is all courtesy of maximum altitude. And I paid Joey, too, but I just wanted to talk about how, how awesome this place is. At maximum altitude, Come, you can find out everything you want about what he does. He's been on TV everywhere. He's been at SEMA so many times, and he's won awards like crazy. He's been doing it for decades. Call him at 655-0184. And when you talk to Joey, let him know you heard about it on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. KM Builders and Joey Maximus, what a combination. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Where is North Padre Island? The little corner. See that little corner? No. Lower right corner. Oh, oh. Whoa. It's a hurricane now. Yeah, I know. And who knows if it... I mean, do they always stay on that projection? It changed, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's already making landfall, so... Oh. It's not going to change much now. So it's not looking like it's, it's going to hit Corpus, it's not slowing huh? down yet either. Yeah, it's hitting Corpus really good. Look, see Corpus up there? Uh -huh. It's got heavy winds. Not the strongest. The yellow is the strongest. Uh. It's 15 miles off the coast right now. It's between Corpus and Port and Port's Mansfield. It's going to be real close to Port's Mansfield. Port Mansfield. What category is it? Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's a high level category. 85 mile an hour is not the high levels. It's moving at 8 miles per hour, kind of slow. Which means lots of rain. Lots of rain? Wow, if it's we're not going to be able to get the grill. Get all wet. Where are we going to put it in my house? No, I was going to put it at our, put it on our patio so that way the movers just take it and we don't have to move it twice. Yeah, but it'd get wet on the patio. Well, I'm going to buy a cover. Grill cover. Can't you put it inside? Yeah, while it's raining. Yeah, yeah. we can put it inside until then. I'll just leave it inside. 
That way it doesn't get stolen for sure. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right? I mean, it's not going to be in the way. Find a place to put it next yeah. to the couch or something. Well, and it's on wheels, so. Oh, it's assembled? Yeah. That's right. I keep thinking it's in a box. Oh. Oh. Well, if we put a cover on it, I can strap it into, against my toolbox. Yeah, I'm just saying, being poured rain on, getting it up there is going to be hard. Getting it. You know what I mean? By getting soaked? Yeah. I should have brought my basket. That would have been a lot easier. Ugh. Well, if it, uh, I don't know what time they close. Yeah, what time did they close today? That they. It's five. Corpus Christi's gonna have sixty. And Sunday they're closed. Sixty to seventy-five mile an hour winds. Corpus Christi is definitely hitting it. My umbrella turned inside out just being out here with the really? winds. Yes. I look like a crazy person. It's not all I'm realizing. <laughs> so we're going to talk about uh, some of the projects that are really popular right now. So you said you wanted to talk about me going. Oh yeah. You keep forgetting what you said in the last Why have you? break. Get to it. I'll go right away. So I won't, okay. I won't forget. And you're gonna do the sponsor. Okay. You should have a conversation with her. About? I see. And ask her how it's going. Okay. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show, and I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we want to mention one of our sponsors that does a great job on our projects, and that is The Maids. And you might like to have your home cleaned by them also. They do home cleaning, and they use a hospital-grade disinfectant that is proven to kill viruses like the flu and COVID-19. And all their tools and equipment are sanitized between homes. So. Just like when you're having your trees trimmed, you don't want oak wilt, you have to sanitize your tools, you do the same thing <laughs> in the cleaning, home cleaning business. Mm -hmm. And call them at 822-2526, 822-2526, or go to the maids.com forward slash 211. Or just go to maids.com and make sure you mention you heard it on KM Builders. Mm -hmm. Speaking of trimming trees, that's what I was doing before I came here. Oh, I know. I called mom because you weren't answering your phone. And she said he's up in he's the trees. He's up tree. in the trees. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy with a bad shoulder to try to brace yourself up on those limbs. And, uh, but, yeah, you, you now is the time to do it because we've got brush pickup coming, yep. coming uh, not this week, this Monday, but the Monday from Monday, mm -hmm. a week from Monday. So that means I've got today, which I knew I wasn't going to have very long to do because of the rain. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully next weekend it's dry so I can finish the other three or four trees that I have to do, man. But I got I got it looking great on one and a half trees. Your trees are so tall, I don't know how you can get all the way up there. You're I, crazy. I don't go all the way up there. I get up there pretty far and then the pole reaches the rest of the way. Good thing you have a pole. Man, but it's the dad hard. might be Poles coming are. in with a, a broken limb. Mm -hmm. so. No, I just cut limbs. I don't break limbs. No. <laughs> Sure. I've seen you fall. But I didn't break anything. Yeah, good thing. Good thing that chainsaw has an automatic stop. Of course, I was a lot younger when I fell that time. That was probably around 
10, 12 years ago? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't feel the same landing this time, going yeah. down that far. I do not want to think about falling. <laughs> well, at least that means you're more careful. Mm, definitely, definitely <laughs> more careful. That's I'm all not, I care about. Mm -hmm. Or you're not jumping and reaching. I can't quite get as far as I used to and oh, and get it as high as I used to because I'm not as flexible as I used to be. But, mm -hmm. but we can still get it done. And those trees are looking better. They look a lot better now than they did 10 years ago. I'm proud of my trees. They look awesome. They are the, they're the prettiest trees around. Yep. But it takes a lot of manicuring to do that. It's a lot of attention to detail. That's why we started a little uh, video called KM Detail. Detail series. Yeah, and it's me, you, uh, talking about details about life, really. Mm -hmm. Details about life that we, and the way we practice things and do things, it's, some of them are helpful tips, too. I mean, everything from the type of fuel you want to use in your lawnmower, to the, <laughs> the way we trim and manicure trees, no, to hair you, products. And, well, what about your bug zap, bug Fogger? Oh yeah, my mosquito fogger. Yeah, you love that one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was a dad tool I've ever seen one. It, <laughs> it is was. cool though. It is Have so your cool. Back In like fact, a rocket launcher. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> it just comes out. Oh my it? goodness, that is so neat. People were like, I have never seen anything like that. It was awesome though. I was glad I did it on video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. We're gonna we're gonna keep keep up the KM details and um, one of the things that, that we really talk a lot about when we are in, invited to your home, whether that be virtually or whether it is in person, as we said, Morgan went with me on some. We we get into a lot of neat details, and Morgan has gotten to see some something by riding with me one day where she actually went in the homes this time because mm -hmm. I don't keep her in the truck anymore. <laughs> but uh, maybe you could just share what you what you observed when people go and actually invite me in the home and what they, what the response is like, what the whole process is like. Well, I thought that it was really nice because you always follow, you kind of follow the same format where they get to tell you everything that they're excited about and want to do. And then you provide them with some new ideas um, and new and different options to do that. So they're, sometimes they're like, oh no, that, you know, like with the kitchen, they don't want to take down that wall between the living room and the dining room because they use that. Right. And that is always something that you would... <laughs> well, we explore that. Yeah. We explore it mentioned see just in case they could do that. Because or... sometimes people, you don't know how they're going to react to it. Like, oh, I thought that would be too expensive. Or, mm -hmm. oh, no, I hadn't thought of that. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it is, yeah, we thought about it, but we don't want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's let's talk about your other the other ways you can do this. Mm -hmm. And, like, I thought it was cool how you mentioned and they never even thought about it but taking out those dated fur downs right. that is above the cabinets mm -hmm. um, and they hadn't even they didn't like it but they didn't even think that that was a, a an option and wow that means you get basically another row of cabinets um, so then you go into that which I think they get really even more excited about it and then depending on I guess where they're at oh and you tell them the price range or a starting point that this project could be mm -hmm. and so then depending on if that was what they had already thought or not then that's where the presentation kind of or your conversation with them so one client was like okay and that was it <laughs> and i mean you showed them your brochure just because to do it <laughs> and then you show you show them the design agreement how much is going to be okay i'll gotta go search for my checkbook but okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was that, was, that was really sweet and they just they were that it all lined up with what they had already heard about us which i think is that was kind of what they wanted to make sure but then the other clients well they were not in the same position maybe the the husband also wanted really badly his number one was to do the patio not That's the right. kitchen it was adorable he kept looking at his list of projects like, oh, but that's not, that's an eight on my list yeah, <laughs> is the kitchen. One, but the patio was number one. Yeah, and I felt bad for it. <laughs> but they had more, a lot of more questions, um, 
you know, about our guys, and then you were able to explain all the different things that we do to keep them safe during the remodeling process, to keep them informed during the process, what it, the design process is like, and then detailed what the construction project is like, and then talked to them about Leslie and the financing options with the HELOC and what that might mean for them. And it was just very detailed. And as long as they needed it to be, they, they had a lot of questions and we answer all of them there. Yeah, so we did talk about financing even, which we mm -hmm. do in some of the projects. Even when people aren't thinking of financing, we like to let them know what options are available because sometimes they're very grateful that, you know, I did not know that that was that way. And again, we don't care what you decide. We just feel like the right thing to do is to go and give you information. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times, when I, I mean, that's what we always do on these calls is give information. And then a lot of times people will say, oh, you know, that's just, it's not going to work for me. And that's okay. They'll think about us the next time or, or uh, recommend us to someone else. But, it, you know, uh, or, or maybe it's just they're waiting and they're going to they're gonna put it off for a little while now that they have a realistic expectation. And that's what we want you to do is to have real knowledge, not, not, not false information. There is so much false information going around you don't know really what is what is truthful so I, I really get specific and we can talk about anything else you've heard of and I can tell you how that fits into the context of reality mm -hmm. because we we've been doing it a long time and we know what people try to sell people and what that we want to tell you what that really gives you if you want that that's fine we just need to let you know the differences between the two diff the different products that are being offered and sometimes people don't tell you that in fact most of the time they don't so that's, that's what we do, and we'd love to do it for you. You can call us at 680-5626, or go to kmbuilders.com and see a lot more about us. And so we, we want to make sure that, that you get what you want. I want to tell you about Elite Designs. They're just great people. They're our kind of, of subcontractor and team partner that we want to use. EliteLightingDesigns.com, and they did my house. I can speak from experience. It is absolutely gorgeous. It makes my home look expensive at night. Mm -hmm. It looks incredible. I was telling you about so my fancy. trees, and when you have beautiful trees like it, you need up lighting on them, and it <laughs> makes them gorgeous. Yeah, it's just soft lighting, and it looks so beautiful. EliteLightingDesigns.com or call them at 573-0594. 573-0594. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. One of the biggest issues for men over the age of 55 is erectile. Oh, wow. Not raining. Hmm? Not raining. He said, Z-E-T-S-I-G says, we will be calling for a small kitchen re renovation on Instagram. That is awesome. Z-E-T? Z-E-T-S-I-G. Zetzig. Zetzig probably stands for something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, great. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I love our Instagram and Facebook followers. <laughs> One of my gray hairs came out. Oh. Can't be, can't be sad about that. I wonder what this is for. Get Sunday. Here we go. Oh, I've seen um, what is that? Ads. Yeah. It's um, it's to make your grass grow better. I've seen Instagram and Facebook Nutrients? ads. I guess I don't know. That's how it. GetSunday.com. Well, mm -hmm. water I've nutrients on to lawn. How it works. Sunday long. Seaweed and molasses Sunday longs are made for people, pets, and the planet. I bet they had some spirits to eat. I already buy something that's what even has to Press shop. Huh? Press shop. Press it. 
season plans start at 129. One to three shipments of nutrients. One to three nutrient pouches. Three soil tests, unlimited loan support. Wow. That's why people want it. Yeah. So they can get Mm -hmm. I can see why people would buy this. Mm -hmm. It's for young homeowners, I think. For, you know? Smaller yards. Yeah, and ones that they know they, they're just now wanting to, if it's their first house probably, and they want to take care of their yard a little bit. This seems easy and not, you know, hard to do. And that's I, what I they're go, aimed at. I buy the Medina Astro Row. It's that's, micro, their it's marketing natural. is aimed at people my age. Mm -hmm. uh, I see ads for it all the time. We're on, on Instagram. The, Instagram, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Causing damage. Hundred miles already. per hour now. Wow. Oh, that's Hurricane Douglas. Oh, that's not the same one. Mm. Did she know? Yeah. Not good. No. Nope. I'd be worried about the car. You know? It's like, because does these, does it bring hail? Can. Usually it doesn't. Do you want to say the Instagram comment on the air? Hmm? Do you want to say the Instagram comment on the air? You can. Okay. Well, welcome to the K and Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Hello, everybody. We're glad to be back and taking your calls live at 737-1200. It is a time to let your grass grow. It's really nice when the grass is healthy and it's growing. Like my, my lawn. Time. So enjoy it. My friend Joe Cacino went by my house yesterday. Oh, really? And he said, man, the grass looks good. <laughs> I said, yes, it does. <laughs> Call Joe at 421-9522 or biogreensa.com if you'd like a lawn like mine. Or if you'd like to see what my lawn looks like, just go to our video section. Mm -hmm, on our website. Yeah. In the out and about videos. <laughs> out and about. We're probably yeah. going to have to make a category that says Keith's house. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we do so many cool things to yep. it. And uh, biogreensa.com or 421-9522. You'll, you'll like its pricing too. And you can also message us on Facebook and Instagram. You can watch us live, ask us questions like Amy did. Or like on Instagram, um, Big Sick? Big Sick. I don't remember his Instagram handle, but he said he's going to be calling us the next week to do a small bathroom remodel. So we love y'all being able to see us on it. Yeah. <laughs> we love you listeners, on viewers on yep. Instagram and Facebook. And so we are talking, wrapping it up about why now is a great time to remodel. I just wanted to mention some of the projects that you can have and that are really, really popular right now. Workout rooms. Mm-hmm. Getting a new place to work out. It could be changing rooms. Uh, sometimes people are wanting their master closet now, uh, and they take out that extra bedroom and they make it a ma bigger master suite by that, that next bedroom being absorbed and getting a really good size walk in closet, maybe remodeling the master bath with it, mm -hmm. and then having a true luxurious master suite. In some of the older homes that are classic, like in Alamo Heights, the bedrooms just aren't big. Mm -hmm. But you can take a three bedroom, turn it into a two, and just have your luxurious master suite and have that huge walk in closet that are that those things are not done in those houses very often mm -hmm. in your bungalows and so forth. They're not, you don't find that, but you can change it. That's true. In the house that we went to, the first house on um, Tuesday, mm -hmm. if it hadn't had that extra addition with that extra master clock suite that master suite you didn't even remember that it was a dual master suite because right. it was so small. so small right and that but there was a bedroom right on the other side that they could have done that with and mm -hmm. that would have been perfect right and so you can do so much so that's that's another project we're getting lots of requests for for offices 
-hmm. and conversions of rooms into offices, bumping out and even using attic space for offices, using portion, portions of garages. And, and a lot of times you've got extra room in the garage you didn't really realize. You can move some things around and you can use part of that to get maybe off of a dining room and maybe you turn that into a breakfast or and an office. Mm -hmm. And there's ways to do that. And you haven't thought of all the ways probably because you just don't know how expensive it would be to do something. And, and we do it all the time so we can show you. And if you just want to call me to, to get your ideas out in the open and see, am, am what I'm thinking is, is it have any validity? Does it is it doable? Well, the answer is probably yes, but maybe there's some ways to modify it to make it even more practical mm -hmm. that you haven't thought of. So we would love to show you those things. And so what's another project we're getting a lot of requests for? She sheds. She sheds, right. She sheds, uh, outdoor, you know, cabanas. Outdoor living. That can also be a guest house. It can be your, oh, yeah. your drum your drum room, drum room, your music yeah. room, your art room, your mm -hmm. study, your getaway, and pool now, house. yeah, the pool house. You can make it a combination of all those things. A gym, um, you know, and, and so there's just so many combinations of little, little outdoor rooms. And and one of the clients I visited on the anniversary is thinking about an outdoor, you know, setting out there. Oh, nice. Yeah, and so you can do combination storage, cabana. You can do cabana and workout room, you can do cabana and office, <laughs> you can even do office slash, you know, workout room, um, you can have a garden room, a sun room, flower room, I mean, just so many rooms you can do like that. And then again, adding on to the, making the space that you have already can be a lot less expensive than adding on. But outdoor rooms that don't have to have everything in them, that are multifunctional, are, are much less expensive type room additions also. So air conditioning's not a problem with the mini splits, and the prices on the mini splits are incredibly low that we can show you. And oh, get and these so comfortable. And so comfortable, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, don't don't fear that that uh, yours is not just going to be real expensive, and and let's see what you what you can do with what you have, and if you want to do an outdoor patio, we've done several of those recently, and they've just turned out gorgeous, and we've got two more slated to start in the next week, two oh, out, two nice. outdoor patios, yeah, beautiful patios. So we're going to start those, and we love doing those projects. We love doing the room additions. We love doing the kitchen remodels, of course, and that's still our number one project is large, beautiful kitchen remodels, and we do a lot of small ones too, small bathrooms and very large bathrooms. Oh, man, that kitchen in um, Castroville that we have Mike Rocha did a custom oh, vent yeah. hood. Isn't oh, that, that is so You love that vent hood, cool. don't you, with all yeah. the inlaid wood and so oh, forth? Oh, so modern. Yeah. So look us up on kmbuilders.com or Instagram and Facebook if you're not already doing so. Mm -hmm. And we have over 100 YouTube videos out there for you to look at as well. Uh, lots of projects, lots of ideas. Meet our staff on our website. It's a beautiful website. Morgan and the team have worked really hard at. Lots of videos for you to see what we do. And again, you can schedule an appointment virtually right off the website. Mm -hmm. It's KM On Demand, and mm -hmm. we get you an appointment right on my schedule. And, of course, we can also meet you personally. Log on to kmbuilders.com or just call us at 680-5626. That's 680-KMCO. And remember, we design the experience so you can experience the design. Have a great weekend, everybody. You know what I just thought? The what? I just thought that... You know how 